Hello, my name is William J. Rothwell. Today I would like to talk with you about competency-based human resource management. Now, competency-based HRM is a new way of thinking about HR management and the role of the HR function. Anyone who has read a college textbook on HR knows that the first chapter of most college texts begin with a chapter that defines HR and then usually the second chapter talks about job analysis and its product, the job description, as the foundation for all of HR. So theoretically speaking, a job description literally describes what the job requires, not the people who do the job, but just the work. Consequently, we could say that traditional HR management that runs on job descriptions as the basis for recruiting, selecting, hiring, onboarding, appraising, developing, retaining, rewarding people is basically an operating system, much like computers have an operating system. But the job description operating system is not the only kind of operating system that HR management can run on. There is an alternative. My book, Competency-Based Human Resource Management, which is available on Amazon.com or Barnes & Nobles, uh, describes chapter by chapter a way to reinvent the entire HR system around a competency foundation. Of course, the term competency itself can be confusing. I've said in print that if a person yells fire in a crowded theater, they are guaranteed to create a panic. And if they use the term competency in a business meeting, they are guaranteed to create confusion. And so consequently, it's important to realize that a competency describes the characteristics of people who are particularly good at what they do. So unlike a job description, which describes the work, a competency model describes the people who are successful doing the work. Well, what's the big deal? Why should we care about that difference? Well, there's one very important reason why. And that reason is that, according to research, best-in-class performers can be many times more productive than the average performer. That means we may have one salesperson who outsells the average salesperson by a factor of maybe 11 times, or it could be as much as 20 times. And of course, when managers hear this and CEOs hear this, they say to HR, Give us more people like that who are a lot more productive than the average. It always prompts the question, why are some people more productive than others? Now, it doesn't all have to do with individual differences, but some of it does have to do with individual differences. And competency models can help us identify those unique characteristics shared by superstar performers. So if we use competency-based HR, it requires a whole new way of thinking about recruiting, selecting, developing, retaining, appraising, rewarding people. We have to reinvent the whole HR system, and we have to focus on identifying and leveraging top performers. And when I say top performers, I don't necessarily mean the people that managers like the most. I mean objectively best performers, objectively measured performers. And if we do that, we may have a new way to recruit, select, onboard, develop, appraise, reward, and retain the very best people. And this will make every dollar invested in salaries and benefits that much more productive. So I encourage you to read the book and find out more about this exciting change in HR. Thank you.